talking shit already? <laughs> of course I saw it, you dingus. <laughs> Let's get started with Super Liminal. Uh, <laughs> my friend wanted me to play this just to see how big brain I am, and I'm like, no. I'm like, okay, fine. <laughs> so, seizure warning. So, there's that. Okay. Hold on, let me move my sub stuff away. What? Terms of services? I didn't get to read them! Perception is reality. It gets bigger every time. What am I supposed to do here? We play chess. We go play chess. I really don't know what we're doing here. Am I just putting this on the on the thing? Like literally on this on the thing. Okay. <laughs> There's another door in this room if you uh if your chess playing is what? What other door? Oh. <laughs> no objects behind this point. Okay. I had to stand on this one to open it. Okay, okay, that's what I figured. Magic point of view, okay. Oh. Huh? There's another one over there. Oh! <laughs> Thank you. Okay, and now so I need this thing back. It's got tiny. Oh no. I shrunk this so much. Let me go back. It's <laughs> big paper. <laughs> I wonder if I. Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Confirmed. You can move freely, interact with surrounding objects, and listen to messages from your patient care team. Please note that I am the standard orientation protocol, and that my voice has been explicitly chosen to remind you that I am not a part of your patient care team. I do not care. Okay. You never did. Oh. It's mine now. I did it. Hello? This looks scary. Hello? Oh. I have soda. to do that oh. I can't go through there <gasps> I messed up already oh no I messed up never mind okay what I'll just be on this part. I did it! <laughs> These walls are moving. What's the cheese? That's my cheese. I did it. Oh. Move. <laughs> that wasn't the wall I was aiming for, but thank you. <laughs> Is it 
is it sold off? Hello? Hello? No? Okay. Is it exit? <laughs> I don't, I don't, I haven't drinking soda so long. I'll just get baking soda. Okay. Trash. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Push to open. Oh. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> you, you need a nap. Go take a nap. Okay. I don't know what. Good night, Papa. Yes, good night. Whoa! <laughs> okay. You wanna kiss chat? Okay. Mwah. <laughs> My name is Dr. Gwen. <laughs> and I'm just yes, I opened the door. Give you a quick update on where you are. Where are we? We still don't know. Okay. But please keep moving forward and hopefully you prefer frequent updates to being reminded that you are completely lost. <laughs> Okay, I'm always completely lost, but that's fine because it makes it funny. Okay, where are we? Oh, well, oh. kiss time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just for you, but you have to admit who's who's the donator. I have to give them the proper kiss. No one wants to claim the donation. Hello. They don't get a kiss. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Mm -hmm. and we still can't oh. find you. But you should now have access to us. <laughs> trigger your subconscious into the gratitude. I'm trying to approach you with a kiss. Absolutely. Hey guys. Amongst us. <laughs> Moon is the tip. Oh, okay. Bomb? How am I supposed to pray? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In the event that this elevator does not wake you up, please don't interact with anything that strikes you as psychologically significant, as we will no longer have any way of controlling it. For example, if you see your parents, please punch them in the face as hard as you can and immediately run away. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, this is another soda. Give me. I'm never gonna have another soda because I freaking I destroyed it. Give me, give me, give me my soda. My cheese. Hi. Thanks. My cheese now. We're gonna make some nachos with this then. <laughs> okay, there's that one. Okay. Another dice, come on. Oh. Hello? Uh, should I go down? Please note that a reluctance to volunteer for the risks associated with explosive mental overload implies a misunderstanding of all other solutions, all of which are oh, far ducky. more traumatic and likelier to result in catastrophe. I am not capable of suboptimal suggestions. Please okay. exit this dream as soon as possible. <laughs> Duck, yeah, duck. Or anything else over here before I jump? Let's go. Oh. What? Jesus, you are here. I, I'm, I'm a, I'm a cake slice. Uh, testers, John, Jonas Dawson, Arthur Willis, Jojo Smith. Which Jojo? 
<laughs> Jojo, look, see, Jojo. Which Jojo? I don't know which Jojo. No soda. Ah! <laughs> Hello, Ooh. my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And despite touring the waterfall serenity zone in the previous section you've just completed, Radio. you may still be experiencing feelings of worthlessness. I did? And oh, I'm sorry. Where is it? Why do I feel like oh. everything is going wrong, even when the sun is shining? My sun never shines. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was edgy. <laughs> My son. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. 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 Uh, be careful with the flash warnings. Okay. I'm just passing up so many rooms. Uh. Huh? Oh no. Uh. Beans? <laughs> Die? It? Oh. <laughs> Beans? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's red. <laughs> Whoa. You bastard. I don't know where I'm going. Okay. Oh, staircase. Uh. This is why I can't do horror games. <laughs> Warning. You were advised to subject yourself to explosive mental overload. This is why I can't do horror games. Dreams, but have now descended into a dream within a dream instead, disorienting yourself even further. <laughs> you are responsible for failing to make this crucial distinction. I know it's not even a real horror game. What do you think I would feel if actually playing a horror game? I won. I probably wasn't even with the right thing to do. You like jazz? <laughs> What's this? It's a box. It's another door. It's endless. Oh no. Okay. Give me Attention, Dr. Pierce continues to input significant errors. I will interpret his basic ideas. Hello. Wait. My introductions are redundant. It's I a really real machine. Doctor who went to doctor school. VR has never been a mistake. I can help you, but it's I also do machine. not know how. I can have unlimited soda now. Ends. Let's go. Unlimited soda. Okay, you're getting tiny. You're too loud. Caution, wet, same. Oh, I shouldn't have fucking made that joke. <laughs> uh, this one gave you a headache? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't understand because like the way it's supposed to be. Tiny. 
Stay like that. You probably fell too. Oh, wait. Ha ha! Well, that was a fucking terrible idea. Why? Did I get it? <gasps> I got it! I can't move! <laughs> Wait, I'm- ah! Oh! <laughs> what the heck? Wait, did I go to a different area? Or is this the same one? Punch card. What? Huh? Oh no. The door wasn't open beforehand. Oh no. So, n no taking it up? No. No, don't be. Ah. I'm never gonna leave this room. If I never leave, I don't have to wake up. Big think. Big think, guys. <laughs> <laughs> one of those now what the hell oh I'm gonna do this thanks for thing this is freaking oh I can't get to the huh oi what the fuck Don't know what I did. This one's a little crazy. Well, there's two of them. Oh no. We'll pick one. Okay. Oh. Please listen carefully for the sound of an alarm clock, which will automatically play if you are approaching a destabilizing dream weight. Okay. Oh. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and many years ago, I had a dream. Yeah, I dream. found myself in a place where I understood that each of us begins as nothing, where everything I perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way I wanted to. White space. Interesting. You guys ever had these type of dreams where it's just completely white and you guys are just walking endlessly? 
I actually had that type of dream within like um within uh like five minutes of trying to sleep the other day. And oh this is actually Oh now this is cheapy. I actually had that type of dream where like um I feel like I'm I'm falling and then like but the thing is that it happened within five minutes of me trying to fall asleep. So like when I tried to fall asleep, fall asleep I just instantly woke up and I couldn't wake up again. I mean uh wait. We're in the alarm clock. Oh, goodbye. Oh my god! <sighs> okay, that was that was hectic. Here we are again. It's pretty loud in here. Not an exit. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and by now you may have realized that all of this has happened exactly the way it was think, supposed uh, to. You see, everyone who comes to the Institute does so because they feel that they are no longer in control of something important to them. But, more often than not, the problem is not that the problems we face can't be solved. The problem is that we become so afraid of failure that we refuse to see our problems from a new perspective. And so, we do the same things again oh, no. and again and again. And therein, of course, oh. we find exactly the failure we were looking for. Okay. I'm just going back. Okay. Going back to all the rooms that we went through. Your life will always be a struggle, and you will always have problems. But today, you have the chance to see things differently. Even though it meant facing obstacles that seemed impossible at first, you thought outside the box, and you overcame them. Because you saw things from every angle, you understood them for what they really were. Because you kept moving forward, no matter how far off the path you were told you were headed, or how unexpected it Fuck became, level. you found your way. back in the real world. Some part of you will say that none of this was real. So how could it have really meant anything? But just like the power of perspective itself, it will have been as real as you believed it to be. All you've got to do is wait. 